Exercise 5. Way of Strengthening Divine Power Way of Strengthening Divine Power is the fifth set of Falun Dafa exercises. It is a tranquil cultivation exercise. It is a multi-purpose practice to strengthen divine power, including supernatural capabilities and energy potency, by turning Falun using Buddha's hand gestures. Practicing this exercise requires sitting with legs crossed. Double leg crossing is preferred, but single leg crossing is acceptable. Eventually, it is required to sit with both legs crossed. In this exercise, the energy is strong and the energy field around the body is quite large. The movements follow the energy mechanism planted by the master. When strengthening the divine power, the trace of awareness focuses slightly on both palms. The palms will feel hot, heavy, electric, numb, as if holding weight, etc. But do not pursue it intentionally, just let it happen naturally. The longer the legs are crossed, the better, and depends on one's endurance. The longer one sits, the faster the energy grows. When practicing this exercise, do not think of anything. There is no mind intent. Enter into tranquility, then gradually enter into ding. However, the main consciousness must be aware that you are the one who is practicing. Let's watch Master Lee teach the exercise. Preparation. Sit with legs crossed. For the male, the left leg is inside, the right leg outside. That is to say, lift the left leg up on the right leg first, and then lift the right leg onto the left. For the female, it is the opposite to the male. Keep the waist and neck upright. Draw the lower jaw in slightly. Gently shut both eyes. The face has a serene expression. Both hands jie yin at the lower abdomen area. Gradually enter into tranquility. From jie yin, move conjoined hands upwards. When above the head, release jie yin. Turn the palms up. Then separate the hands and turn towards the sides until they are at the front sides of the head. Bring both hands down, holding both elbows inwards in front of the chest. Both palms face upward, the fingertips point forward. Flex both wrists and cross each other in front of the chest. For the male, the left hand moves outside, the right hand inside. For the female, the right hand moves outside, left hand inside. After the hand cross, move the outside hand up to the shoulder, turning the wrist outward with the palm up and the fingertips pointing back. At the same time, turn the palm of the other hand downward while moving the arm down and forward. Then gradually turn the palm upwards. This hand now should be in front of the shin with the palm facing up. The outside hand moves up to the shoulder turning the wrist outward with the palm up and the fingertips pointing back. After crossing, turn the palm of the inside hand down and gradually upwards. The lower hand is at the lower front, above the lower leg. The male with right hand, female with left hand, flex the wrist and turn palms to face the body. After crossing in front of the chest, turn lower inner palms downwards until reaching the lower front, just above the lower leg. The male with the left hand, the female right hand, turn the palms inwards to move up. After crossing, the male moves the left hand to the front of the left shoulder. The female moves the right hand to the front of the right shoulder and turn the palms face up with fingertips pointing forward. Exchange the hand gestures with the previous movements. When doing Shou Yin or hand gesture, the movements are continuous with no stopping. The upper hand moves at the inside, the lower hand moves at the outside. The male turns the right hand, female the left hand, moving it downward with the palm facing the chest. The male lifts the left hand, the female the right hand upward. And when both forearms reach the chest, form a horizontal line. Separate the hands towards the sides and gradually turn the palms downward. Keep the hands at the level of the waist and the forearms and wrists at the same level. 
relax both arms. This posture is to bring the energy inside of the body to the hands to strengthen divine power. When strengthening, the palms will feel hot, heavy, electric, and numb, as if holding weight, etc. But do not pursue it intentionally, just let it happen naturally. The longer this position is held, the better, until too tired to endure. For males, move the right hand downwards to the lower abdomen and the left hand upwards to the lower chin. The right palm faces up. The left palm faces down so that the two palms face each other. For females, it is the opposite. The forearm at the chin is parallel with the shoulders. This is also strengthening divine power. It requires sitting time, the longer the better, until too tired to endure. Then exchange positions. The upper hand draws a half circle in the front down to the lower abdomen area. Lift the lower hand upward while turning the palm down. When it reaches the lower chin, the arm is at the same level as the shoulder. Both palms face each other. This is also strengthening divine power with just the hand positions reversed. The longer the sitting time, the better, until too tired to endure. After the strengthening movements, the upper hand draws a half circle in the front down to the lower abdomen, both hands jiayin. Enter into the tranquil practice. Get into ding or deep tranquility. The longer you sit, the better. When practicing the tranquil exercise, there is no mind intent, but you must know it is you who is practicing the exercise. When the exercise is finished, move both hands to her shoe. Come out of ding or deep tranquility.